to be the man. You got to beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cactus Jack. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Oh, Ladies goodness. and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels podcast. We should have recorded this yesterday, but we didn't. We're recording yeah. on a Monday. It's a holiday weekend. Happy 4th of July. Yeah, that's right. It's a holiday. That, that's the excuse I should have used. <laughs> fireworks that was my, everywhere. That yeah, was my firework know? sound effect. <laughs> and that's a four-wheel truck. <laughs> 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 Who parked a truck by the fireworks? <laughs> <laughs> what was wrong with them? I just want to point out right now that oh, uh, my God. Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks are on the screen. We're watching night one of the G1 US tournament. And it's awesome. So if we freak out, we will explain to you what just happened. And I got a feeling we're going to do a lot of freaking out on this match. This Kenny is better so than Monday and Tuesday nights. Two yeah. sweets, two sweets. Speaking of Monday and Tuesday nights, let's go ahead and get that. This is going to be a special episode, guys. We are going to be talking about uh, indie shows and do's and don'ts. We have some news to get out of the way real quick, some stuff we want to talk about. Uh, yeah. We're just going to bring it up real quick. We kind of condensed the news this week. And uh, before we really get going, because this isn't that big of a deal, but we're going to start, we're going to change formats. We're going right. to have a, more of a format. Mm-hmm. Instead of not having a format, we're going to move to having one. So, just thought I'd let you get, so you're prepared. Yeah. So we're prepared. One thing we want to ask you guys for is an indie wrestler that you feel like is really good, that needs the spotlight, that needs some extra attention, some extra love, let us know. Let us know in the comment sections. You know I post these things on Facebook all the time. Tweet at me, at Best in the Realm. Uh, shoot me an email. You can find that email on the Future Villains website. Uh, YouTube, if you're listening there. SoundCloud. Everywhere, the elite, the the elite, the okay. They don't have. To They're not watching, not, but we're watching. Keep it to a minimum. God damn. Hey, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, uh, he, you know, obviously, if you're not a big fan of the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega, you're probably not listening to this. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what kind of a person you are if you're not a fan. You're not. I don't know what. It oh, is. oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, oh. We've been, I've been waiting all night to see this. It's red shoes. Young Bucks and Kenny Omega are trying to get Red Shoes to too sweet them. Huh. And we saw earlier Red Shoes den- deny opening the ropes for Naito, which I thought was great. Oh! Like, oh, Red he Shoes told them to suck it. it. They're not happy. I respect Red Shoes. Yeah. yeah. Red Shoes is the man. Uh, his face <laughs> is even red. <laughs> it is. I respect that old sushi eating son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's covering his head. <laughs> Even he oh can't believe me said it. Oh Hey, you know you're not supposed to eat sushi on Tuesdays? Really? No. Yep. Is it because it's like the last day of it coming from the market? Oh, yeah, because fish markets are closed on Mondays in Japan. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Yeah, because they're yep. probably fishing. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Not supposed to eat sushi on Tuesdays. That's good to know. So all you sushi eaters out there. I, don't, I mean, I don't think it applies in America. Oh, well, it does. Or Publix. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't apply to Publix. <laughs> Cause, and I don't know. I don't eat sushi anyway. Yeah, I, I gotta have my stuff fried. And if if I'm eating fish, I mean it's it's cooked. You two done? You eat all fish? <laughs> you know what? If you put Jr's barbecue sauce on it, barbecue. Yeah, we're gonna have a format. Is it gonna keep you two from going off on tangents? That's that's one reason I think it's a good idea. I'm going to try some of his barbecue sauce though. Oh, we should. Oh, we should do a taste test. That'd be a great video. I would like to. Let's do audio it. trademark. Audio, what audio <laughs> trademark? <laughs> that is a thing. But is it? My God! There, I just got hit with a uh, copyright strike. Oh, his his teriyaki was on sale. I almost bought some. Oh, oh that would probably be the, good. No, the teriyaki uh, beef jerky is what it was. Oh, oh okay. Where you saw that? Uh, WWEshop.com. I yeah. ain't buying no damn. Don't fucking stuff plug them. <laughs> Plug future villains dot <laughs> shop dot that doesn't exist. Damn okay. can one day. One, one day. day we're gonna we get t shirts and I mean, we still have stickers. We have stickers. What's that guy? Daniel? Daniel never got back to us or David or uh yeah, him. Dolores. I don't know. Dolores. I don't yes. know. Probably... We still got your stickers. Enough of a tangent. <laughs> Alright, so there's news. There's some news. 
13 women wrestlers have finally been confirmed out of 32. Oh, this is what I had the opinions about in the beginning. Okay. Uh, out for the, uh, the, the May Young Classic. Because what was, uh, what was Brooke saying before we started? No comment. Yeah, we probably don't want to say that. That's what yeah, I said, that, no that, but then that's what I have my opinions about. No comment. Okay. Anyways. You trying to get my ass in trouble. <laughs> I am. I have opinions about it. No comment. So far, we have Lacey Evans, who's been on a few episodes of NXT. Lacey Evans. That sounds super familiar. Yeah. Sarah Logan, formerly known as Crazy Mary Dobson, who we're Fuck. a big fan of. Yes. She might win that. Biggest fan. Uh, biggest unless, fan right now. Unless they announce someone bigger. Um, Sarah fucking Logan. I'm going to slaughter this name. Princessa Sughait? Sughit? I, uh, I started to look. <sighs> it's so cold. It's so cold. <laughs> um, Kavita Devi, who is an uh, Indian-born superstar, and she's supposed to be the favorite to win. I do know that. Sarah Logan, but continue. Uh, <laughs> Tainara Confetti. No, Contet Conti. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn! <laughs> Don't you go back and edit that out either. You said it. You live with it. Conti. I'm sorry, what? Conti. Have fun with that one. C O N T I. Oh boy. Someone give me a damn. Oh. Don't damn over that. You know what? Either. If nope. you listen to me streaming, you've heard worse. Uh Abby Leif. Oh, who used to be Kimberly. Oh, I yeah. really wish they would have changed her name. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> Oh. But we know who's never coming on our oh, show ever what? again. Me? No, <laughs> her. <laughs> She's never coming on this show. <laughs> um, uh, Tessa Blanchard, who is, yeah, a stepdaughter of Magnum TA. Okay. She, cool. I believe, is an MMA fighter? All right. She's supposed to be really good. And I Let me go ahead and apologize right now for our lack of knowledge on most of these Yeah. People. We're, uh... There's so much wrestling. I don't even want to apologize. It's just, there's too much out there. Uh, Dakota Kai, who I really like that name. That's a great name. Uh, she's wrestled for Shine and Shimmer. She signed with okay. WWE last winter. She's from New Zealand. Okay. Yeah. That Love my New Zealand I right I, there. I think I've seen her like once. Kyrie Sane. Very highly touted, according to SCScoops.com. Uh, formerly known, oh, as Kyrie Hojo. Isn't that the chick you were showing me earlier, Brooks? Kyrie Hojo? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm looking up now. That's the one you like her butt. Uh. <laughs> and speaking of butt, ladies and gentlemen, the lady that uh, Jacob just said, I'm sorry, Alexa Bliss, but I have moved on to <laughs> a new booty. I had to put that out there. This new booty. If y'all uh, look her booty up, you would thank me later. Uh, Piper Niven, formerly known as Viper. I'll give some Piper okay. somebody. She's she wrestled is. with ICW and WCPW. Right. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know who this is. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Bianca Belair. She's a CrossFit enthusiast. All right. All right. And she's you do CrossFit, you can cross fuck off. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. He is having a moment. This new booty. That is a rap song, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I, I think you're just making it up. I, I might be. You might get a record deal. Keep it up. I'm excited about that tournament. Um, oh, hell I yeah. really, really hope Taylor Hendricks is in it. She's one of my favorites right now. Um, Gail Kim. I also want to point out that uh, Cruiserweight Classic led to a weekly show. Uh, yeah. You think they're going to do a weekly show of this? If I think if Glow does really, really good on Netflix, I would not be surprised if we get a weekly WWE women's show. We're not getting a weekly UK show, though. That would uh, be awesome. I, yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> Sign to crush your dreams. Yeah. <laughs> they might be thinking of something like that. You know they might know. be. I think they're really just looking to expand their women's... Uh, roster and they fucking need to they, they yeah. need to do something like they were doing great 
And then they're just like, oh, this is awesome. Just to point out, they are still doing great. But things are starting to flounder a little bit. Oh, I think everything is fucking you, flying. You've got some people who are holding the whole division on their fucking shoulders. And then you got people like Natalia and uh, Nia Jax. And Nia Jax. And <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it was Tamina. And oh, it was Tamina. Tamina. That's right. Yeah, Tamina O. Snooker. And Tamina O. Snooker. <laughs> Sorry, Nia Jax. You're better than that. I should have known it was Tamina. No comment. <sighs> I'm gonna be good and clean tonight, boys. Sure. You can't do any worse than Cunty. So <laughs> yeah, you oh, oh, I did. you have set the bar high. I did. I am just gonna coast through this episode. I am. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that's two bleeps I got to do now, what but if, I'm not going to do. What if uh, you talking about women wrestling? Okay, go ahead. A a badass like. Bullet Club like women's stable. Why not? Like, I think that'd be cool. Well, well, we had a welcoming wait. committee on SmackDown. You talking about. Oh, I am about to flip this fucking table. You talking about an all women's Bullet Club? Uh, not, no, not, not the Bullet, Bullet Club, Club yeah. but like something like I. Like a. Not the iconic duo, not They're the great, welcoming though. committee, but like badass, not like it, just fucking serious. Badass wrestlers that are women in a stable, and they're just good. Yeah, like that's their gimmick because they're good. No, I watch it. I There's no that. reason not to. Yeah, I'll like why that. isn't that a thing? I always thought Alexa and Nia should be a thing. Nia, Alexa being the new Shawn Michaels, and Nia being the new Kevin Nash as far as you know, women wrestling. Goes. I thought it was yeah, going to go with that at first. Nia it seemed like that way. Kevin Nash sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a the only th- only good thing he ever did uh, was in Grandma's Boy when he was acting in that and he was a mover in the beginning of the movie. I thought he did pretty good in Waterboy. And it, the guy is like... <laughs> Not Waterboy, I'm sorry, uh, Long and Sharp. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I said Waterboy. But he was on, on drugs. I like, I, I like Kevin Nash. I have a Kevin Nash shirt. He knows... He only has five moves. Yeah. Including the hair flip. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, so that's fine. I mean, he's he's good at what he does. He's good at yeah, yeah, five absolutely. moves. Yeah, absolutely. But he's yeah. good at getting himself over. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Fucking talking about him. <laughs> yep. Oh. But yeah, like, why don't, like, we get so many stupid, like, the welcoming committee. That's fucking bullshit. They said that, and I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. And yeah. then they said it again, and I and was like, they... oh, is that your team name? That's terrible. <laughs> oh, you're serious. I get it. It's like, if you're going to come onto the show, you have to go through the welcoming committee. But also, you realize that means you get to use your faction, like, once a year. Yeah. Or, <laughs> and it was so dumb. Like, if they did it, like, yeah, we're the welcoming committee. You have to go through us to Who get was anywhere. it, anyways? It was Natalia? It was everyone who wasn't Charlotte... And Becky and... I didn't even know that it was everyone. No, it was. That's the shitty thing about the women's division, is there's like five of them. So even when they do a faction, it's like 98% of the women's division's already in a faction, so they can't fight each other. I hate that I'm able to look up the welcoming committee. I just did it. Yeah, (laughs) that shouldn't be a fucking thing. It said Rip Flair joins the welcoming committee. Natalia, Carmella, Tamina, and James Ellsworth. God fucking damn it! Yeah. I, I just want to point look, out that... They don't I, look intimidating. Yeah, that's my thing. Is like, if they were like, yeah, we're the welcoming committee, you have to get through us to get anywhere. But no, they were just a bunch of whiny bitches. And I hate to use like, that term, but well, th- that's what they were doing. We, we talked about this on a podcast. That's before. what they were doing. They're like, you have to go through us to be on SmackDown. Meanwhile, Daniel Bryan's like, no, you, they literally have to ask me. Yeah. <laughs> you, like, why, why, you, why do you think you're making decisions now? Like, yeah, it's so, it was so bad. I just want to point, talking about floundering. No, wait, I'll get to that. Uh, women's division. Did you guys see uh, the new title? What new title? I, 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 I realized you didn't have that pulled up. Um, yeah, because it's not on SC Scoops. What the hell, guys? Uh, yeah. Uh, are you fucking with me or are you serious? No, it's a new women's title for, for SmackDown. 
Oh, no, uh, Naomi's? Yeah. It glows. What? Yeah, it yeah, looks like it, they yeah. added, added some LEDs to it. It matches a gimmick, though. Yeah, I don't hate it. It matches a gimmick. A lot of people got, don't like it. I, I, I don't, I it's not permanent. It. I don't think it's permanent. No, it's not. Like, they're probably just going to take the LEDs off when she loses. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, which is no. fun, you know? <laughs> Wait, who's your wrestling tomorrow? Lana yeah. again. Oh, God, she's not going to lose. Yeah, fucking Lana sucks. Lana, Lana. I've seen her so many times live. Recently. I ain't got a problem with watching her. She's bad. She just sucks at wrestling. I can watch her walk up and down that damn ramp, you know what I mean? No, nope. no, I don't know what you mean. Go ahead. I can't find Fake this guy. Fake-ass Russian... Yeah. Really? I've, I've seen it like a hundred times. I'll see it on, on a... I don't think it's technically a new title. Sure. But, yeah, yeah they yeah. added some glow LED things yeah. to her, uh... I'll find it. It's not cool. on eBay. Yeah, I didn't realize <laughs> that's what I clicked on. It's just a picture of her. Someone yeah, selling, like, an 8x10 or something? Yeah, for nine bucks. You know, actually, I bought two 8x10s. Did I ever show you those? I have a CM Punk one. Really? Yeah, because they were at Kmart for a buck. People used to buy me those for, like, Christmas. Yeah. I mean, it's a good present if you don't know somebody. Yeah. Apparently it's not because I don't have any of them left. <laughs> but then you can get them signed and stuff, like, if it's the right people. Oh, sure. Like, I'd love to get the CM Punk one signed. Yeah. Unlikely to happen if anyone ever sees them do anything ever again. Someone ju- would just got some stuff signed by him. Really? Yeah, I don't know where he He shows up at cons. Yeah. But uh, a bullet club wants him to join. Yeah, this should be incredible. And we talked about that last week too. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, but yeah, that's. Uh, I hope it happens. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting into Kenny Omega right now. Uh, Whew. Yeah, yeah hopefully this women's tournament just strengthens WWE's foothold in running wrestling. Yeah, because Shimmer's doing great. Shine's doing great. Uh, Glow just came out. It's a yeah. My, my lawn huge. guy was just talking to me about Glow. Really? So, yeah, and I, I guess there is like a legit documentary about Glow yeah. as well. I don't know on that. Netflix. Yeah, so I think that was that why they made it because they got inspired by it. Could be. Yeah, I could be full of shit, but that sounds right. I don't know. That sounds right. Let's go with it. Um, I I'm gonna watch that this week. Uh, I probably won't, but I'd like to. We should <laughs> we should talk about it on the podcast. Uh, I'll try to get to it because uh, speaking of floundering, that perfect segue there. I have, I think I've stopped watching Raw and SmackDown. It's boring. Um, it's dumb. I'm not enjoying it anymore, so I stopped. The, the Lavar Ball thing happened, which was fucking stupid. I watched a clip of it. Stupid. Samoa Joe choked out Brock Lesnar. That was fucking cool. That okay? That was cool. I didn't see that, but it was um, cool. and that's really it, right? Yeah, basically. Um, like SmackDown. Oh, go ahead. I'm just like I was just gonna say I'm just gonna watch Great Balls of Fire and see how it goes. What SmackDown is it? Uh, this weekend, Sunday. I think. Um, SmackDown. I can't think of anything. Oh, Carmella won the women's uh, money in the yeah. Bank James Ellsworth got kicked out. Yeah, I think he out. came right back. Yeah, I was gonna watch that, but then I saw what happened, so I was like, all right. It's you knew what was gonna it. happen. Everything is so predictable now. It's like yeah, uh, you don't really need to watch it. Just you know. I'm, it's getting annoying. I hope oh, you're wrong. Oh, I, I hope move. you're wrong about uh, Lana's gonna win it and Carmelo's gonna. That's what's it. gonna happen. I hope you're wrong. That's the only reason why she gonna win that title for Lana like five doesn't seconds. deserve it, and that's why she gonna lose it five seconds later. And she sucks. But it's gonna go on Lana's record as being a women's champion. I understand. And then I they understand. can use it from this point on. Right, right. I get that. But resume buffer. I just, yeah. I don't, I don't get how she got. You know, it's other women that deserve to be in her spot right now. I'd rather have Becky Lynch in her spot and Becky keep it for a while. Yeah. You know, and oh, good night. There, there is dead weight in the women's champ, women's division. Uh, yeah. Oh, Natalia. Yeah. Tamina. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She's not good. Nia could be better. Nia's had good NXT matches. Tamina, she was good back in the day. They both have the. They when, both have their places. We just. They just they, they just run these them. girls down to the ground, you know, and they just they lose their image and stuff. They just they like leftovers that you leave in the refrigerator and your dog like want to eat them, but it's like no, I want them. But then it's like, oh fuck it, I'm just going off script. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, that's Natalia. You just described <laughs> Natalia. She's been here so long. We're all like, we want her, and then they're like, here you go, and we're like, oh no, we don't. 
Because they, they, they ain't doing her right, man. She does deserve to hold that damn She's belt. She's annoying. Her promos are bad. Yeah. She's an okay wrestler. A lot of them women's promos are bad. Not uh, Becky Lynch. No. Oh, no, no, Becky Alexa Lynch, Bliss. Alexa Bliss's promos, like I can watch them all day. Not Bailey. Bailey's a they. She's gotten worse, but they're not bad. Ba- Bailey just does your standard babyface. I ain't, yeah, I ain't say all of them. Yeah, I said majority of them. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. You know, it's so just, bad. Like Naomi's pretty. Naomi's passionate. It's just the girls that left NXT when like that. The, the four girl was a four or five of them. Becky Lynch, Charlotte, four horse women. Yeah, when they came up. That was it. Like, everybody else and that was already on the roster stopped. just took a shit. Except Alexa. Alexa, Alexa was a part of the four. Right, yeah. Women. Right. Oh, she wasn't? Um, no. No, she wasn't. It was just four. But it's oh. like, God, dog it, man. They need like, to stop this. They do need, like, Nikki the match. Bella. The, you're oh, yeah, the, the match. match. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm talking about that. They could benefit, benefit from Nikki or Brie coming back. I don't think so. Uh, I think they're shit. Time they're good they're promos just... and good wrestling. Their time is up, but that's why they should come back because there would be some star power. Because watch, all that's gonna happen is they're gonna come back and they're gonna get the titles. Tristratus. Stratus. I really have her than Mickey Jane. Yes. What if absolutely. she came back? Trish Stratus came back, and was like a, uh, not a wrestler, but like a governing body for yeah. the women. You mean like, like a, a women committee are? No, like a <laughs> like a commissioner just yeah. for the women's division. I'm, cool. just, I'm just about to say that she that would be awesome if she was like like Daniel Bryan or, is SmackDown. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she does. Maria Canellis. Love her. Has she even done anything? Not yet. Get the fuck out of here on that. Like, they, who, they ain't gonna she she so nothing. good. She's the best. Mike's the best. I like to see Beth Phoenix. Yeah, she wasn't that bad. God, Beth Phoenix was so good. You know, like when the WWE took a hit. The Attitude Era left and they tried to go PG. The girl, excuse me, the women they had, that was pretty, they had some good women there. Who else? It was, uh, Beth Phoenix, who else? It was, it was, it was I, the I, Bellas uh, and like, she, Beth was like the only good who one was back that? I can't remember how often but it was, there was decent girls. So I think that's, that's about it for WWE, right? Yeah, I'm, We I'm, don't want to spend too much time on them. We'll go over the, these last few news things. They've stopped taking our suggestions. Fuck the revival. So yeah, fuck the revival. Well, they Move did on. the women's gauntlet match. Yeah, they did that. that was cool. It's horse shit to me. It is. It pisses me off. And one one last minor WWE slash TNA thing. Shinsuke Nakamura showed up at the TNA Fan Fest. With the balls That's on him. Funny. That's pretty good. He's either ballsy or he didn't understand where he was going. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> he's he ballsy. He know what the hell he's doing. That man can do whatever he want. What are they going to do, fire him? No. <laughs> you know, shoot. He can do whatever he want. And you said he just took some pictures? He took something? a picture with some, I'm assuming, some of his wrestling friends and Scott Demore. I don't think that's a bad thing. Well, he did he not, was he there, like, uh-huh. backstage, or was he in, like, with... They talk about it like he was there... Roaming like, around. Like, if he showed up and he was, like, hey, hanging out with his with his boys in the back, like... The boys. They ain't never wrong with that, though, to be honest with you. Yeah, like, that's fine, like... But, like, every time a wrestler go to a different promotion, they always go in the back to see everybody and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you do hear about that a lot. But um, if they're gonna, they gonna make it a big deal, then, you know, fuck off. That's, that's their problem. Okay, he was with, uh... Let's slaughter these names. Mm. Mara Fuji... Ishimori and former Team Canada manager Scott Demore. Okay. Oh. This was a Scott fan- Demore is the guy I couldn't think of in yeah. the last episode. It's appropriate. Uh, it was the Fan Fest show before their Slammiversary pay per view, and he was in attendance. Yeah. All right. I um, never wrote that. God. <gasps> it's just interesting. King Omega just killed my. Gawa. That flying knee. That Alpha hurt. just took to the face. Man, I felt that one. So, we'll go over this really quickly, because this just makes me sad. Because now I can't make my joke. Now, TNA is officially becoming... Wait, wait, wait. Total Onslaught Action Impact Wrestling presented by Anthem featuring Global Force Wrestling. Fuck, Fuck that owl. owl. <laughs> is now becoming Global Force Wrestling presented by Anthem. Fuck that owl. <laughs> so Even you're lo- losing <laughs> half your joke. Total Whoa! Whoa! 
Hold on. Kenny, stop the knees. No. You're going to hurt the man. Kenny Omega did the Bullet Club gun to Michael Elgin's face, and Elgin grabbed his hand and put it to his head, and he was screaming something at him. We have it muted this is because epic. we care about our listeners. But damn. This is so oh. epic. Look at this. One Wing Angel. Oh. I'll so get yeah, up. That, that's about it about TNA. You know, we and can't uh, I'm practicing my commentary right now. Holy shit. What the fuck what is, is he doing? What is this move? He's just going to kill him. That was like, it, that's an inverted Styles Clash? Yeah. Yep. He just hit on Michael Elgin? Yeah. Interesting. Speaking of Kenny Omega. Okay, so obviously oh. we know who wins this match. Yeah. And obviously we know who wins night two because... Kenny Omega is the inaugural IWGP what we United Angel? States Champion. That was beautiful. <laughs> and as appropriate that the match ends right there. Yeah. That was beautiful. That was so fucking good. So um, I, I don't know who the next person he beats is. Does it oh yeah, we don't know yet. There's still like another three hours of this fucking show left. <laughs> then there's the next one. <laughs> yeah. Then there's night two. Oh, look God, at that. God, the one ring, ring angel is incredible. That's awesome. Well, I'm so glad Kenny Omega won the U.S. Uh, I'm telling you, I said it before and I'll say it again. They're coming. Yes. All day. So they are coming. Let's talk about that. All day I've seen uh, Kenny Omega and Kevin Owens, and it's the new, new face of America. Oh, <laughs> uh, the next match oh we have God. coming up: Okada and and, and Cody Rhodes. The, the son of a plumber, baby! Man. Woo! And honestly, I don't know who wins. If anyone does, keep your mouth shut. I don't know who right. wins. Don't know. I was going to guess, but never mind. I mean, I, we can guess, but I don't know. <laughs> I uh, literally like I. I, I think either. I know who wins, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I think who? I think I know. I think I saw it somewhere. Well, the, you're not guessing. You're my trying st- to remember a fact. But my brain is so like, it's my basically guessing anyway, shit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> okay, I, I think Okada wins. I think he does win. I think he does too. I love Cody Rhodes, but... Because if they're going to come to 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 America and compete with WWE, they need Gaijin to lead them in a way. But they also need a Japanese star. Yeah. Okada would be fucking perfect because the whole money gimmick, the Rainmaker, it's very American in a way. Yeah. Um, but having like, uh, oh, they also got to get rid of some belts because you said it earlier. There's a lot of belts. It's not everybody. But, has but they belt. have such a roster that it doesn't matter. Like if if they had as many belts, uh, if if like Raw had as many belts as New Japan had, everyone on Raw would have a belt. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But New Japan has an incredible roster. They got a whole 70-man prior roster well, in the NFL. Well, New Japan's kind of like, they don't really have a roster. They have a rotating roster almost. They have guys that show up and have to show up, but and indie guys could show up at any minute, like well, a PWG or an ROH. WWE has a roster, a concrete locked-in I'm roster. I'm pretty sure New Japan does as well. Do they? Pretty sure. That's something we need to look up. But New Japan guys show up at other promotions. Yeah, because they're not stingy. Well, you know, but that's what I'm saying. WDB is. They have a locked-in roster. But some And some of those guys, in their contract, they can work other places. Sure. WD will pretty much never have that. No, I'm saying they do. Oh. Like, some of their guys have... Yeah, Samoa Joe had it for a bit. Um... Knocking more shit up the fan fest. <laughs> or they just do whatever the fuck they want and deal with the consequences. Davey does it very sparingly. I think, um... And I think that's gonna end up biting him in the ass. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I just think that if they had some American names, like a Cody Rhodes, uh, the Young Bucks... Uh, CM Punk. <laughs> CM Punk. It's gonna happen. It'd be great. It's but gonna I happen. really feel like their main guy needs to be a Japanese I, guy. I agree with you on that. A hundred percent. Yeah. But look uh, here. Disagree. If CM Punk does join the Bullet Club, the invasion is on. They're going to take it over. Oh, yeah. Because that... everybody loves CM Punk. They still, to this day, screaming CM Punk name. Yeah. So if they see CM Punk with New Japan, oh, good. Not, boys. It's yeah. over. Yep. It's over. They already got Cody Rose, and, and Cody Rose got a good falling. Fuck. Kenny Maybe got a big falling. The Young Bucks got a big fall in. 
the Bullet Club in general. Oh, shit, come on, guys. Even, <laughs> even at WWE shows, you see Bullet Club. War shows Machine everywhere. just won the fucking tag titles. Seriously. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, if you're not on this New Japan uh, train, you better hop your ass on and enjoy the ride because they're coming. If you get some casual WWE fans to see War Machine, oh, those guys look cool. I like them. Yeah. Yeah. Cody Rhodes, I remember him. Mm-hmm. And then Okada is going to defend against CM Punk yep. or you know somebody that they know really well. Could you imagine Okada versus CM Punk? Oh, my God. That dude. Oh. Whoa. Look at... This is a pretty interesting... Uh, American in- Nightmare. Is that all the presidents? Yeah, there's a bunch of presidents. There's <laughs> Obama up there. What the fuck? Yeah, Obama, Nixon, uh, Reagan. I can't tell who's the far left. I can't even see it. Probably huh. Clinton. Probably. Cody's such a fucking psycho. I love it. Look at the cigar. cigar that is my boy, man. Incredible, incredible ring gear right now. I am that so happy he is... left. Is that his wife? That's his wife. Yep. Is that his Randy. wife? Randy. Yeah, that's his wife. She is so beautiful. She is. And she worked for the WWE, too. Not yeah. anymore. Oh, I'm th- she did. Yeah, she did. I'm so happy he left. He made the right decision. Yeah, look at guys like Trent Beretta. Just yeah. doing amazing yeah. in and All over the place, man. He, it's, that's what I'm saying, like... He's putting the cigar out on his arm. Because he a freaking badass. We just saw... Well, what's CJ Parker's new name? Juice Robinson. Robinson. Juice Robinson. He, that was a good match. That was a good match. And he's only going to grow from that. Yeah. He's, he's rising. And look what he did in NXT. Yeah, he was so good at NXT. I loved his gimmick. Like, I wish he, he saw his gimmick. Probably, my, I don't know about your, one of my favorite people to see in NXT. I respect. I met Broke him back in the fucking I heart him. when he left. You know? His, I, that gimmick, though. Like, I love the gimmick. Everybody that left the WWE, they come here, New Japan, they become awesome. I look how great that jacket is. They don't is. become awesome. They're just allowed to be awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll take that back. Too they sweet, were awesome sweet, before. I'll take that back. Then when they went to WWE, they sheltered their awesomeness. And when they left, they just, you know. I really just feel like WWE doesn't want... They got. They feel like only certain guys can be awesome. The rest of you guys need to chill a little bit because you might steal the spotlight. Right. And... Which is a the great... Re- I didn't know the Ring of Honor title had a red backing. Oh. Yeah. Which, he won that from Christopher Daniels last year. Right. Mm-hmm. Maybe not last week, but we watched it last week. Yeah, I remember seeing some clips of it. Yeah. So, speaking of, you know, some guys not being able to be awesome because they're the mid-carters, basically, there's a great fucking segue into we just watched the PWG show last night. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who, in PWG... We saw this last night, and it's basically like that every PWG show, every match is the main event. Right. Every yeah, match right. is incredible. I'll tell you one thing, I'm going to interrupt you. That was my first time watching that a full show of it. Yeah. Because I've seen clips and clips of it. Sure. And watching that with you last night, I became an even bigger fan of it. And you'll become an even bigger fan of the Duke's Keith Lee. Keith I didn't Lee. know who he was. Keith Lee. I saw him on a PWG show because I've been catching up with the, the older ones. I watched him versus Chris Hero. And I was like, who the hell is this guy? I need to know who he is. Right. We saw him again on the show last night. Game Over Man. Right. It's the name of the show. Yeah. And it was Keith Lee and I can't remember against who. Uh, J- Jacob Cobb or Jeff Cobb? Yes, Jeff Cobb. Thank you. God, that God, guy that was, was a good, so good match. That was awesome. That was so good. That was awesome. I love both those guys. Watching War Machine, that was my first time ever seeing War Machine. I, yeah, it was me too. And it's like, them dudes, if you never see them, they're big. Yeah. They're it's big. Very big. But I tell you what, they will run circles around you in that ring the, and whole, then, ma- the whole 60 minutes. Especially Hanson, yeah. right? He's the one. He's, just, the, big, he's the big one. He just know, runs. He runs back and forth for a good two minutes. Slash, and splash, he's still, splash. the whole match, he's still going full speed. When he got done earlier, he was standing there with his arms out. Yeah. He was okay. I, I he love that, kept going. I love that. That's, that, to me, that's entertainment. Yeah. Not what we're seeing on Monday and Tuesday nights. The shit we watching now is entertainment. Yes. So they didn't fucking take notes and, and redo what it, I, you know, fuck them. This Use show was so good that it's, it's like 1030 right now. I would be okay with a starting night two if yeah. we all didn't have to work tomorrow, but who works tomorrow? I do. 
He yeah, does. Yeah. You I don't work. Oh, right. we could watch it tonight, and I'd oh, be okay with four it. Four-day weekend. I, I, I'm going to bed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anyways, I would be entertained if we watched night two. Yeah, like, if we if we started like we normally do around, like, noon, do, like, we, yeah, I would have, I'd love yeah. to watch two or, nights. Or, or, when we're done with this podcast, you guys want to watch Raw and SmackDown from this week? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we did, you, you're tired, so it will put you to sleep. Yeah, you know what? I'm, that's how I might go to sleep tonight. It's a great way too. But yeah. you might not wake up because it's a bunch of <laughs> fucking shit. But yeah, it's just I wish they would just let guys. They would just book matches because that's all PWG does. They just book matches. And what's wrong? <laughs> you hear something? Spiral because outside. Oh, <laughs> it got uh, me a little bit. Like PWG, they have minor storylines. Like right now, I'm watching. Uh, Roderick Strong is a heel in the timeline where I'm at in my PWG viewings. And he uh, he's feuding with Rick Knox, the referee. Mm-hmm. And, like, there's just little yeah. storylines. There's, you know, an overarching story with individual episodes. And WWE could do that. They could just let but everyone be awesome. To. Vince McMahon doesn't want to own a wrestling company. He wants to make movies. It's all about Benjamins. Before. Right. And that's not enough for me. I don't want a movie. I want, if I'm watching wrestling, I want to watch wrestling. What's Bray Wyatt doing right now? Nobody knows. Yeah, he's not doing anything, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, I was going to say something, but I I <laughs> just <laughs> mentioned how I liked that we didn't bring this up on the podcast. So Delivering pizzas? No, <laughs> he apparently <laughs> delivered our pizza. Yeah. Yeah. I swear to God, that was him when I pulled up. <laughs> well, you kind of look like him. Uh, but my, a talent like that, you know, it's just it's just wasting away. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't know what that is. What, oh, no, it's just like on my computer. All right. Um, like, dude, Bray Wyatt's like one of the most entertaining people. What's he doing right now? I don't know. If he's if Vince wants to make movies, make a fucking movie about him. Yeah. Make they a movie about Finn Balor. They made a movie okay, about Kane. Yeah. It's supposed to be really good, too. Uh, See No Evil. I saw it. I mean, it was good. I liked it. I, I watched a movie with uh, Bray Wyatt in it. Yeah, could you imagine, like, a Bray Wyatt yeah. movie in the Wyatt Do it in Brooksville. Brooksville already fucking yeah. crazy as it is. Shit. Yeah, That'd I was perfect. just driving through there yesterday. I would absolutely watch that movie. But the reason we watched PWG last night was to introduce Brooks to it because it's just the best wrestling. I agree. Hands um, down. We didn't introduce ourselves, I just realized. But it doesn't matter. You guys know who we are by now. I'm Jacob Best, the Realm Hunter, Brian, Man- Brian Man Peacock, and Jeremy, the Coach Brooks. Um, you'll find out more about us at the end of the podcast when we do our, our shilling bullshit. Wait, uh, how long into the show did we just introduce ourselves? Uh, about 40 minutes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's fine. We're good at this now. Yeah. We're professionals. Um, Pro was fashion. to have Brooks watch it, to be introduced to it. Uh, so we can learn about some of these smaller wrestlers, but also because we've been going to some of these indie shows, and they just want to be WWE. That's what it feels like to me. They're like, we gotta be big now. PWG doesn't put any fucking effort in. <laughs> that it, yeah, I've I've watched PWG, for and I say that lovingly. I yeah. do. Uh, I've been watching them since two thousand five ish, two thousand six. Right. It their production quality and everything they've got they nicer do, cameras and microphones. That's it. They it is the same thing in the best way. They have a hard cam and may, they have one camera. Yeah, I think they just have one. I think it's one. One uh, dude walking around the ring. Yep. But they they make it to where it's not about all that. It's about what's in the ring. Yeah. And that's what I love about uh, it the most. Marty Skrull said today in a podcast uh, with Sam Roberts. That there's not a lot of story in PWG. That building's not very big for them to do anything with. Mm-hmm. So everything that's entertaining has to happen within those ropes. And they, and they do a hell of a job doing it. They, they don't even have a, a entrance ramp. They don't even one have the, barriers. No, they don't. They got people. One of the shows, one of the indie shows we went to, they were like, we have a real entrance ramp. Yay! What the fuck? <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> who cares? Yeah. PWG, the fans part, the guys come out, and then the fans put their fucking chairs back down yeah. in the entrance Like when somebody goes outside the ring, they all run like the Red Sea opening up. Yeah. And if you watch awesome. some if you watch some of the old Ring of Honor videos, they had a very regular entrance 
They, I mean, they had like the. Uh, they had like a a beam going up around them. Yeah, and, and that's that was it. it. Like they had that a couple lights it. and a curtain. He walked. That, that was it. I mean, it, right, it progressed, okay. but from like the very beginning, yeah, I mean, they had the basic. They had, they the, had the barrier. Well, they had that, that light. What was that thing on the, on the, the barrier that you could hit and just freaking make all the noise? Oh yeah, the the steel barriers. Yeah, that they had. was that was awesome. Yes, <sighs> you can't do that in WWE. I I, mean, I, I was there live once. When everyone's banging on those, you know, best that's in the gotta world. It's got to be so loud. It's so loud and it's incredible. Yeah. that That's that's entertainment. Like. That's entertainment to me. You go yeah. into an event and you enjoy it. Yeah. You walk out wanting more. Also, don't kill yourself. Because if there's not a lot of people, then just have a good. Uh, this I completely disagree with. Continue. Really? If you want to yeah, kill yourself, 100%. at least kill yourself with how, a whole big arena full of people. How much. You think you would you never you think, do less than your best? Never. You think guys should do dives outside the ring for ten people? Is Hell that no. the best that they can do? Never do less than your best. I what, don't know. Ten I people, think, one could be a scout. One could work for a bigger company. I can see that happening. I, I can see that happening. That video could surface. They see there's ten people and they see you're not holding back. They see sure. you're doing your best for ten people. What is this guy going to do for a thousand people? Okay, Brian. I hear you. Yeah, never do less than your best. I like, do, I like when I go to work every day, I'm not going to do less than my best. Like, if, even if I don't have shit to do that day, I'm still, you know, on that's, my A game. That's, that's the damn truth. But you can still put together an incredible match within those ropes. Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't. If, but if you had a dive planned, fucking do it. Don't do, don't. Don't sandbag. Isn't it sandbagging and racing where you go slower? To sandbagging and wrestling too. Yeah, don't 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 do it. There's no reason to do it. If you hurt yourself, if you hurt yourself in front of a hundred people, or you hurt yourself in front of two people, you're gonna get hurt anyway. Fair enough. That sounds like something you'd say. But yeah, yeah never do less than your <laughs> yeah. best. It's completely uncalled for, and that's how you that's how you stay in the armories. That's how you stay. Working I, high school gyms. I agree with you on that because we use that terminology on football too, on the, on the practice field and stuff. Yeah, if you were going up a team that you beat every single year forever, are you going to do less than your best? No. You shouldn't. <laughs> I remember when we played football, we did. It was it's like, we did. It was annoying. Like I don't yeah. say that a good way, but it was one like one thing we teach our kids is if you're going to practice like an asshole, you're going to play like an asshole on Friday night. Yeah, and you're going to get your ass whooped. Yep. You know, it, we got college scouts that hide in a car and watch practice, so yeah. the kids won't see them. So if you're gonna go out there and be a jerk, you're gonna lose your scholarship. Exactly, yeah. You know, so I agree with you on that, Brian. Yeah, hey, you never know who's gonna who they might not see you live. If you but they're want, gonna see the someone might see the video. Right. If you wanna make it to New Japan or PWG and all that stuff, you wanna go out there every day and put your life online. Yeah. To make it there. It's like you start playing football when you were small. If you wanna make it if you wanna start high school, you need to bust your ass and show us. Then when you bust your ass and show us the college scouts see that, they all, oh, you're going to college football. Then right. the NFL scouts see you working even harder in college, you made it. You made it. It's yeah. just the effort you put in. Oh, and then uh, Cassius Ono made it to NXT, kind of let himself go. Yeah. Got let go. Never do less than your best, yep. or you're never going to make it. If you just because you thought, think you go and make it, it's not always going to happen. So and, and wrestling some, against ten, wrestling with ten people in the arena, it might be somebody there that's really important. Yeah. So if you go, on, if so you might have a podcast with a lot of listeners. Oh yeah. yeah. If you got a <laughs> spot well, playing, talk about you, you right now. The flow. You know, it, you, I, I agree. With it. You know, and a lot of people going to disagree to agree with stuff like that. So. You know, and like, I still, you know, I agree with what you're saying, but at the same time, I still feel like you cannot kill yourself, literally kill yourself, potentially break your neck. Have a great match. Then, that, then, then that have. should never have been done. Like if he's worried, if anyone's hurried, worried about being injured, don't fucking do it. Well, exactly. Like you shouldn't do it to begin. We shouldn't do it for ten thousand people if you're afraid of being hurt. All right. Like I guess there's a point where if you're not trained enough, you shouldn't do it. If a Will Osprey or a Ricochet is in front, in front <laughs> wrestling in front of ten people and they do a dive, I'm not worried about them. If you get a guy who's not that well that well trained and has only dived once or twice, maybe you shouldn't dive this match. <laughs> well, it shouldn't depend on who's there. It's just go practice. It's, it's gonna make you look bad with ten people there or ten thousand people anyway. Yeah. 
So if you ain't trying, like that's my point. You know, but like if you yeah, if you're not do it. Yeah, but if you're not trained enough to do it, you shouldn't be doing it, regardless. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. Yeah, indie shows like, I mean, look at ROH even back in the day. They didn't put a whole lot of effort in. They no. had just a camera. Did they have basically the same PWG setup? Pretty much. I mean, well, they also had the barricades and they blacked out the walls. I think. Not in the first show. I have their first. show. Oh no, their first show yeah was just a gym, right? Or yeah, not it was a gym. gym. They, uh, yeah, it was a gym. Yeah, a gymnasium. Yeah. They had uh, their basketball hoops just pulled up and. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it started was, earlier, so there was light pouring in from the windows, and they just had the one... They may have had a fog machine and a couple strobe lights, but shit, I got a fog machine and strobe lights. I, mean, we can do that I, would, that I would rather go to something like that and have the best time of my life than spend 50, 60 bucks with some crappy entertainment shit called WWE. 50 or 60? Tickets ain't cheap. Their, t- their ticket tickets are like 100 bucks for shit tickets. Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, Kim, we're going to go. is going to be $90 for each of us in the nosebleed. Oh, shit. Which is why I think I've talked to Brian about this. I don't have any desire to go to a WWE show because I would rather be in a good seat. And I'm not going to spend hundreds of dollars on a ticket. Like the only one I want to go to would be a WrestleMania. Yeah, like, I, I that's would... That's the only one I want to go to. Yeah, yeah. And the thing with that is, is like, that's almost... That almost surpasses wrestling. Yes. That's like an experience. Sure. That, that's something it is. That's I went to 24. Oh. oh. That up. Hey, you know what? Fuck the revival. Fuck yeah. the revival. Fuck you too. Did you see what he did before he flipped him off? Yeah. He did the Stardust thing mm-hmm. and then yeah. flipped him off. You know people going to be ragging him about that shit. Oh, yeah. did you guys see the hit, the video of him and Bullet Club in like a Walmart with the action yes. figures? They got all excited. He yeah. Stardust and then they end up grabbing Roman Reigns. Then he grabs the Roman Reigns figure. <laughs> I still like Stardust. They could have done something interesting with like them. It. I ain't like it. It could have been Stardust versus Goldust. You could have had... If the two of them were to just be allowed to have a feud and we do what they it. want. We had that match. You keep, you forget. We That was one of the first pay-per-views we got together and watched. Stardust versus Goldust? Yeah. Yeah, but they didn't get... The, they weren't allowed to have a real feud. I, I, well, I, 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 I wouldn't have watched it if it was a feud. We're going to have a whole bunch of fucking dust flying around. <laughs> They're not allowed to do a lot of stuff. So. They, you know, if, that, that right there to me was the sign that Cody Rhodes needed to leave. If and, they told Cody and Goldust, go crazy. Do what you want. That would have been a fucking great feud. Yeah. But wrestling but and the just fuck, the entertainment shit. But without the, the dust. <laughs> without all that bullshit. Because remember, Goldust went to WCW. Yeah. And they put oh. a mask on him, and he went ape shit. Live. He was like some demonic thing. Yeah, he had a white mask on. He took that shit off and went crazy. Wait, what did he do? It was a while back that he left WWE. What, went WCW? WCW? And they put yeah. another mask on him. It was, it was weird. It like, uh, yeah, was he still Goldust? Creepy. No. No. It, was Dust, it wasn't Dustin. It was something. I can't remember the name. It was. But he went off. I know he went to TNA. Yeah, he went to WCW. Did he? I he mean, was in WCW, then went to WWE, then went back to WCW. I'm going to have to look that up. I don't remember that. But he went he went ape shit. Uh, the Black cause Rain. That. Yeah. Yeah. Because he got sick of that, you know? He also has on here the artist formerly known as Goldust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Black Rain was his weird gimmick. Oh, Seven as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven, because it was the Seven Deadly Sins. Black Rain was TNA, wasn't it? I don't know. Let's see. Professional wrestling career. Did yeah, he... Black Rain was in TNA. It oh, was bla- okay. basically black and white gold dust. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at Seven right now. That is fucking one terrifying. That's when and they had him in WCW, and he flipped out with it. He yeah. tore the mask off and everything. I can see why, because it's fucking horrifying. Like, that Ooh, is, yeah, it is. That is some scary... Fucking shit. What the fuck? I won't look at it. I saw that on YouTube. I threw my laptop. Yeah. That damn it, That's exactly (laughs) (laughs) Oh, jeez. That needs to be the thumbnail for this. You think so? No. Oh, my God. It's like you walk through... Oh, it's moving. (laughs) It's like... It was a gift. It's like you walk in the park and you see just a dude standing there like that. Like, never going back to that park again. It's that like fucking Freddy Krueger shit. So, oh god. So Make your hand in this fucking mirror. Dude, this is gonna be the thumbnail. But that, that's 
that's what you know. That's what I feel like they was gonna do with Cody Rhodes. I feel like they're trying to ruin this boy. See, I like the idea of the Stardust thing. Like, it, I didn't. I didn't. I'm sorry. I did. Sorry. Is your uh, computer server Gordon? Oh okay. yeah, we're good. Just checking. I'm sending this to you in a message, by the way, so I have it for later. Okay. Don't send that shit to me. <laughs> to the yeah. Fuck you. I would throw this phone away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure my grandma on her birthday <laughs> tomorrow. She gone. I don't know. I, oh man. When Cody Rhodes was there with Ted DiBiase Jr., that was that was perfect. The two was perfect together. They yeah, were what snobby were they rookies and stuff, and they when, when they didn't want to kick everybody's ass. That was good. Then they yeah. broke up. Yeah. And they put face paint on Cody. No, well, that that was way after. That's what I'm saying. It's like and they did the mustache thing, which was great. That was great. He got hurt, <laughs> and they put the mask on. I like. I watched that. I was, I was entertained with that because yeah. I'm a fan of Cody Rhodes, and he sold that like a million dollars. Mm-hmm. But then after that, what happened? Well, he did. He did the mustache thing. He did the pretty thing. He did the mask thing. Then he did. That the shit. Yes, that's right. I that have a T-shirt. Um, then they ran out of ideas, so they put they face painted them. That. <laughs> <laughs> but just what you said is stupid. They ran out of ideas. What what I, the fuck ideas do you need? Cody Rhodes. Just let him be him. That's they, it. They did, they did that with Stone Cold. Look what happened. The fuck you need writers for for Cody Rhodes? You know, Stone that, Cold went through the same thing with WCW. Speaking of which, look at that arm drag that from the top rope. That was beautiful. Writers. This is professional wrestling. There should oh, be writers. Agreed. Which is another indie show thing. Mm-hmm. Everyone wants everything to be super scripted and do things out of order and then maybe edit things later so they look better. And don't. Just don't. What we watching now? Actually, no in this shit, it? actually, they talked about that on the PWG show because it was like the third or fourth match in and Chuck Taylor spoiled a match from earlier. Oh. And Excalibur is like, but spoilers? And Cody, or, sorry, what I, Chuck Taylor's like, who the fuck watches it out of order? <laughs> Is there a shuffle button? And Excalibur's like, no, but there should be. <laughs> no. Like, it doesn't need to be so script. It, how much do you think is scripted right now in this match? Not Cody Rhodes much. versus Okada. Not that much. The finish? Maybe? Yeah, well, Maybe. yeah, it would have to be something. I'll say like three phases of the match. Beginning, the middle of it. Sure. And the end. Finish. They have a they have a, a plot they yeah. want to go by. But other than that, I think they just let them go. No, but I'm talking about like promos and stuff. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. Like character development. Oh. <laughs> if Tamina? it's it's yeah, <laughs> it's pro wrestling. Did we talk did about you, that last week? Yes. Okay. God damn it. Did did we talk about that last week? I don't know. That's what. Last what? Last podcast. What? Last, last podcast. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm confused now. I'm confused now. What? The last podcast. Did we talk about that? The last that? podcast. What? What are you doing? You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's late. What? What? Oh, God. That was in that moment. I have to say, like, I Stone Cold, the man, loves Stone Cold. I, everybody does. I the what him. thing? Hate it. It needs to die. I, I hated it die. the first time he did it. I hated it when Brooks just did it. I hate it. <laughs> I hate when anybody says the word what by itself. I'm going to keep doing it because you just said that. So <laughs> <I bet> you... <laughs> but that is, that is the one thing Stone Cold that I But one thing since so you brought up Stone Cold. And we talked about, you know, Cody and all that stuff. They mm-hmm. changed that. Did. Before Stone Cold entered the WWE, he was the ringmaster. Well, he was the ringmaster in WWE. In WCW, he was tag team with somebody. Brian Pillman. Yeah. The Hollywood Blondes. Then something happened, so they brought him to WWE as the ringmaster with Ted DiBiase. Yeah. Ted DiBiase left and went to WCW, and they're like, what should we do with him? Stone Cold said, let me be on sale. And look what happened. Yeah. They didn't do that with a lot of wrestlers now. Yeah, because what they do is they have the wrestler, or they have the writers and shit who write the promos for these guys, and that's not, like... That's the new They're thing. They're not for necessarily wrestling. actors. Yeah. I guess you could call wrestling acting in a sense. They are now. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely are now. But like on here, like when, uh, like when the Bullet Club, 
They do a promo? Like, they're not being told the promos what to say. that they did with Cody and all them and the Bucks, the yeah. TV ads? Yeah. Those that are was, awesome. I, loved, I, yeah. I bet that, like, you that was times, not scripted. That, no, that was like, talk about these things. Yeah. Yeah. I loved it. I watched that so many times. You think someone so told <laughs> Cody Rhodes to I say "fuck it. the revival"? No. Did yeah. Cody fuck up the line like twenty times? Wasn't that in that video? That Somebody the, that fucked was, up. That was the "fuck the revival." Is that what that was? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's where that came yeah, from. That, I, I tweeted that "fuck the revival." <laughs> I, that was oh my. You tweet that. that on everything now. No, I can't. Help. You <laughs> that's could, your signature. You could be like, I can't wait for Fourth of July. Fuck the revival. <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> I gotta watch it on Twitter because I got a lot of kids in there, but. Uh-uh. Messing y'all, fuck the revival. Is, is, I'm, <laughs> like, I'm gonna say, hey, mom, how you doing? Fuck the revival. <laughs> and I'm such a revival Damn. fan. <laughs> Are you? Yes, I'm I love sorry. those guys. What? Oh, oh, you ain't had to spit in the man's face, Cody. No, I think that was an a- that was an accident. He spit in Red Shoes' face earlier. I know. I just, that, like, that's gross, man. So basically, indie shows. Come on, you don't have to do much. You just have to put on a good show. What was the one we watched of the hardcore match, Atomic? Yeah. They didn't really do much. No, like, I, th- I would love to go to an Atomic show. We're, we need to. We're going to. It's just so far. They it, just... it has to be a whole weekend. I have to go make sure. a whole weekend. Yeah. Of it. Well, let's, a let's, make it a, let's make it a whole weekend. Let's get on it. Uh, the 12th, I think, is the next one. Uh, July 12th. We'll talk about that. Well, no. Go ahead and talk about that a little bit, then. I don't... People know. That's about all I know. And I'm probably wrong. It could be August 12th. They gotta be off. They just had one. Yeah. So, but I don't know. They could be pretty quick with their stuff. Right. The indie shows keep, keep it simple. Month. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, <laughs> that's the that's old really... saying. Yeah, pretty much. Have a hard cam. Have a guy with a camera. Um, have that guy know some of the spots. Have that guy know the wrestler so that they, if they call for something like Okada's calling for something right now. The cameraman knows, okay, I, he's going to try and do this. Yeah. So I know. That's one thing that would be good for scripting for indie shows. If they can let the cameraman know of a couple spots. But well, you don't say, like talking about inside stuff. No. <laughs> so we're going to stop talking about that. If you going to do it, are we? He's getting upset. <laughs> he wants to protect the biz. Yeah, can't protect this. This isn't. Me and you are gonna do a podcast show. where we just talk about this. I just want to talk about how to make the biz better. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm all about making. We can it also better. do a podcast on how to make the miz better. Fuck the miz. Yeah, you get. <laughs> <laughs> I can get behind that. Fuck the miz. I hate the miz so much. They pushing that. Why are we talking about them? Let's I, don't. Let's don't talk about yeah, it. We're not talking about WWE. The PWG show. Um. Oh wait 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 wait. Shit's happening. What's happening? Somebody coming down the ramp or the walkway. Is that Kenny Omega? That is Kenny. Yeah. Yeah, I, something happened after this match, by the way. What are you doing? With, what's in the towel? I don't know. Oh, no. Is this what happened? He threw the match? I think so. Are you serious? Because, holy shit. What? Okay, so, what you, you might not know, uh, Kenny Omega and Okada, too, Cody Rhodes came down to throw in the towel, and he was a, he was going to, but they hit their 60-minute time limit to a draw. Right. And I think there was a big deal about that, that, you know, hey, you shouldn't throw in the towel. But now Kenny Omega looks like he's here to throw in the towel for Cody Rhodes. And the thing that I saw, I think he does. We're going to have, I, I don't know, we're about to wait and see, but. Oh, well, you're going for something. Uh yeah. Reversal. So many reversals. Drop, Drop kick. kick. Yo. Okada's... Oh, Okada just took the, the, the armband off. He's going to go for Rainmaker. It's on that Donkey Kong. Oh, shit. Rainmaker. Oh, shit. Cross Duck the Rain... Ra- oh, yeah. shit. Rainmaker. From Co- Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes hit Okada with the Rainmaker for two count. Now, two Cody, count. Wife, Cody Rhodes' wife got the towel now, so let's see what's going to happen. All right, so the other two matches from that PWU show was Zack Sabre Jr. defeating Dick Togo, mm-hmm. which we found out is from a guy from Kai and Tai, yeah. yeah. which I totally forgot about from yeah, back he in the day. he looked great. Yeah. He looks great watching that yesterday. That was a really fun match. That was a very technical. Yeah. That must have been a... Oh, whoa, a, whoa. Who? They feuding, boys. Yeah. They See, this is what... 
There has been animosity in promos between Cody and Kenny. Yeah. Kenny always starts shit with the leaders. Cause Kenny is Kenny the leader of Bullet Club. I thought he was. I like, don't know. There's this always, is what's gonna happen. I think that's the, the elite, problem. The elite gonna do their thing. They're gonna have another Bullet Club. Like they end up their Wolfpack and end up. That's what I one. think too. That's what that's gonna happen. And that's and that's what's gonna make them successful in America. Okada's just too damn good for anyone to beat. Oh, Crossroads. Oh, Okada did, hit oh, the Crossroads. Oh, good night. One, two. Oh, that was close. Come on, Red Shoes. Pretty damn close. You know he's going to take. Who's that dude on the outside right there? That's, um, you know, I'm not 100% sure. It's I thought like, it was that okay. dude from TNA, the big old Mexican dude. Um, what's his name? Hey, Hernandez? Yeah. No, it's uh, Okada's, like, hype man. Oh. What? It's like a manager, but he doesn't need a manager, so it's not exactly... Oh, so it's like a UFC thing. Uh, sort of. He carries his bucket and towel and stuff? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I think he helps him with his promos, but I think Okada does good enough promos. So. They need to come on and let's figure out what's going on here. So one thing I, I, I want to talk about from the PWG show last night was Chuck Taylor versus Marty Skrull. And I love that the PWG is the promotion where Chuck Taylor is going to get a push. It is so fucking awesome. Because right. I love Chucky e. T. He's been somewhat of a comedy wrestler for a long time, mm -hmm. but he's a damn good wrestler, and he deserves a good push. I oh, think yeah. he'll be one of the next PWG champs, if not the next. Because that match was awesome with the thumbtacks, and then they, they shot the powder good. in the face. That yeah. was good. And what you said earlier, Marty broke, uh, broke Justin's fingers. Yeah. And then he couldn't count the pin. That was that was, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was that was a real good match right there. That's that just smart wrestling right there. It was that is yeah, that was entertaining. That is the overarching story within a single episode. Mm -hmm. That or a single match even. But that 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 PWG show was great. I can't wait for the next one. And think that we want to introduce a segment this week. We're calling it. Damn. That's right. And we're going to talk about, you had something, didn't you? For a second. Wake up. Go back from New Japan. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he looks so glassy eyed <laughs> No, I didn't think we were going to talk about this because we didn't really have one. Because we already talked about it. And there it is, folks. That's the damn segment. I fucked it up. Yep. No, I, well, I guess damn. we can talk about, uh, <laughs> yeah, th this is going to be like our botch segment. Yeah. Uh, sorry, but I, I, I mean, we saw it. I mean, it was the last one we saw. Uh, Tanahashi. I, I it's the it's terrible that he's gonna be the first person we bring up on this. It's kind of appropriate too because he's so good. Bust but, wide open, son. But yeah, he just he went for a uh, he was on the second rope and went to jump off and do a cross like facing the crowd and jumped to do a uh, crossbody to a uh, Billy Gunn and just missed. Also, Billy Gunn looking healthy as ever. He really does. Yeah. Looks good. Tell Which is also sucky. Damn. Told him to suck his dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's old Billy To, Gunn um, uh, Kushida. Yeah. So I think oh! we're going to finish watching this match, folks, and then we'll be back to talk about the rest of the show. Uh, fair enough, gents? Yes. Well, well how, how much longer do we have on this? Cause I think this is, this has to be almost over. I'll, yeah. I'll keep we on. have to be, like, minutes. You well, let's go know. ahead and do the intro, then. Or the outro, then. We're doing the Ooh. intro at the end, because we didn't do an man. intro. Uh what is going on? Okay. Oh, God. No, tombstone! Twisting tombstone! Son of a bitch. Oh, my and God. And Okada's not, not done with him. He's so. got to hit Guys, the Guys, go watch this show. He's got to hit the Rainmaker. I wish y'all would just watch this, man. Just, oh. This is wrestling. Rainmaker! Rainmaker. This that's is it. wrestling. If that's that's it. not it. One, gonna, two, gonna, two gonna three. No, nope. nope, that's it. I that's it, and that's it for us, guys. You can find us on our website, futurevillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. Because you, I cannot spill villains, by the way. That's right. We found that <laughs> out the other day. Uh, you can find us on YouTube. Just look up Future Villains Entertainment. You can find us on iTunes, on SoundCloud, Stitchers, Fixed, I think. Um, you can find us on anywhere you can find well, a good how podcast. How do we get on Heart Radio? Can we do that? I uh, don't think we can. I, I've looked into it. It's very hard to get into that in Spotify. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, uh, you can also find me on YouTube. I'm Matt Best in the Realm. I now have a Patreon. You can look that up. Uh, you can yeah, find Patreon. us on Twitter. Yeah, we, we could do a Patreon eventually for this. Yeah. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm. Uh, I'm on YouTube at Nerdy Brian. Uh, That's right. You can also find that on our website. Uh, yes. Uh, been posting some drone videos recently. Uh, Instagram Brian1138 and on Twitter at Brian25. I do not have a YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, you do. Future villains. Well, that. <laughs> but uh, you can find me on Instagram at jbrooks42. On Twitter, jeremybrooks42. Is that your football number? Yeah. Okay, that's what I figured, the 42. You were yeah. born in 1942. No, no probably no. not. Okay. <laughs> I probably did right now if I was. No disrespect to anybody that's still alive that was born in 1942. I think there are some. There's probably quite a few. Well, God bless y'all. But, uh, and, uh, 25 was my hockey number. Oh, okay. So. No, but y'all interact with us. You know, y'all want us to talk about stuff? You got any ideas? Yes, let us know. I want to reiterate. Let us know what indie guy you want to see on our show get spotlighted so that we can talk about them, we can check them out. We've got somebody really special in mind for next week's show, and we can't wait to talk about them. But you'll have to wait till episode 22, because this has been episode 21, guys. We're right. 21 episodes in. Like, share, subscribe. We can drink now, but two of us don't drink. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah, you do. You used to be a bartender, but we're going to end it there, because you should go back and listen to that episode, because that one's fucking great. Uh, let's stop. <laughs>